Welcome back, guys. <laughs> uh, new topics have occurred, and uh, I think I wanted to talk about that. Uh, one topic is like this girl I was like writing. I wasn't like constantly writing with her, but uh, on a. Mm, I'd say yearly base, you know, like uh, she she was kind of toxic and retarded and I'd say this is the reason why I was kind of able to stick with her the most because uh, like she drove everyone away from herself. She has like one simp following her and that is it and basically uh, after nine or ten years we uh, in uh, I'd say I communicated with her, I'd say in these 10 years, approximately a maximum would be 10 hours. So it's not that painful, you know, if you've invested like that much time and energy into a relationship. So to say, if there was a relationship, because uh, this is like meeting your uncle or your aunt once a year uh, for, I don't know, one or two hours and then say, yeah, goodbye, see you next year. <laughs> And this was basically going on for years and years, but uh, after some time I said, okay, this is like the final stop. I'm kind of retarded if I keep communicating with this person because uh, there is like no, no threshold for um, critique. I can be sometimes bitchy, you know, be like a little frustrated child, but after one day or two I recognized this was not very mature of me, you know, but uh, this girl, she, she was like 24-7 like this, you know, like yeah, yeah, everyone's against me, why, why is everyone against me? And the uh, basic jokes, you know, when I, this is like the thing with, which I enjoy about my friends, like I could call them, you know, you're a stupid fucking retarded piece of shit for doing some something that stupid, I don't know, something like that, you know? Uh, you messed up, you fucked up basically, on a major level, dude. Kudos to that. But uh, I did like, you know, busting busting her balls, so to say. And uh, she kind of got like, yeah, that's very painful, that's very hurtful, you know. <laughs> and uh, I wonder how fucking retarded, you know, I took, maybe this is like because I took drugs in the past. You don't recognize things like that. Oh, I have to clean up my all the wrong stuff, and uh, maybe that was the reason, uh, yeah, that I didn't recognize it sooner, and I kind of just uh, ghosted, you know, I ghosted her for a year, then she wrote some basic shit, and then I ghosted her for a year, and this was the procedure, the usual, but this year I said, enough, um, let the retarded be by themselves, how about that, so, uh, yeah, I blocked this person, it's like very rare, you have to be a major dick to be blocked or ignored by me. But if you try hard enough, you will achieve this goal. And she did indeed reach this goal. So, um, yeah, that was that. Then, uh, now usually I edit uh, this kind of audio, like so you could hear uh, what I was saying with a hard compression. But since this is an end-user camera, there's already a real-time a real-time compression involved, so there's no need for that. Yeah. So this was like, yeah, one chapter I wanted to talk about. Retarded girl, she can stick with her own retarded kind. Then there is like, I was sending uh, a buddy of mine a video. I did some homework and I had to edit uh, some video, and basically. Uh, this was a video uh, uh, with basic sound, you know, just uh, not very much sound of the original video footage recording thing. And uh, I actually like this kind of view. And uh, yeah, this is, I got the original video with not much sound in it, and I edited the Foley's and Atmos and FX and uh, composed a shitty score. 
in uh, five minutes approximately or ten minutes maybe at the max and uh, this is what I submitted this was some sort of homework and uh, <laughs> the thing is like uh, I sent this body like uh, both links because one link was the original video while I was still finishing up some minor uh, minor polishings, you know, I had to polish up one or two knobs or functions, settings, stuff like that in order to be a playable and good video. So I sent the original video and I sent it the edited video and uh, I sent both and I asked this friend, yo, did you download both? And he said like, uh, yeah, I got everything, dude. Then after one or two or three days, he says like, okay, now what did you exactly change? And I said, then I said, didn't you download both things? And then, nah, I thought you were being sarcastic with me. You know, I thought you were out to get me, man. Like, imagine somebody comes to you and like, you know, you're a fucking retard, man. You know, fuck you. And then you should be like, oh, sorry. Yeah, this is definitely my fault that you behave this way. You know, this is a uh, totally normal behavior that you're like, uh, this fucking also as well, kind of toxic. Like, your initial move is like stepping me, you know? Just uh, get me out there, like like that. Like you put out an aggressive attitude, and then you wonder why I get kind of mad about that. This is kind of weird. Uh, so there was that, and like I said, just forget it, man. Just forget it because uh, this is like an instance. Sometimes I feel like certain bodies are like with some people you lose. Either you lose or you lose, and this was one of these lose lose situations where you. If you talk with him, uh, he gets mad. If you don't talk with him, he gets mad. He kind of stopped getting mad, which was kind of interesting and weird. Like, felt like an alternative reality or something like that. And uh, if I said like, yo, why the fuck, man? I just, I just asked, you know? And on the other hand, I have to blame myself for this because uh, this is like, the basic human experience, so to say, when you say, tell somebody, download this and that. The, uh, I have like one body, uh, which I'm playing like Minecraft from here to there, from time to time. And uh, it's like on a constant basis, uh, like every two minutes I say something and after two or three minutes, hey Marilyn, did you know that? Or oh, Marilyn, this and that. And I said like, yeah, I said that before. And yeah, I said that before, man. I said that before. And I know this shit happens to me as well. But there is like a frequency, you know. And uh, this wasn't even... The initial move, it felt like uh, in order to not miss anything, I'll be a retarded, toxic asshole. And by that, I circumvent, I prevent that I miss out any information. Genius logic, uh, impeccable. I can't argue with that. And uh, the other bo body, like, he totally kind of misses when I say something. But this might be also of internet connection issues. I don't know. But uh, now if this was, was would be a serious situation, I would be kind of uh, angry, you know. Because this can't happen on a constant basis. If this happens on a constant basis, something is neurological wrong with you. And while one body might say, yeah, you might be right, this sounds reasonable, if I miss out information on a 50% basis, the other body says like, no, no, you. <laughs> and uh, then I think like, yo, do we really have to do this? Do we really have to do this, you know? <laughs> and another thing is like, another body which is like, kind of unavailable, uh, which was kind of funny. Like, uh... I tried to invite him to play a little bit Minecraft, just just an example for every game basically. And I had issues setting up my server, and always when I had issues, uh, when when I was running into like time being too too little minutes or hours, or time was the issue, or my server was giving out random error messages, like he was there. But now that everything is working, he's like dead, but like, really dead. Like the ground sucked him up and he's gone. Oh yeah, the third thing is like, uh, I also got another buddy. I told him about uh, this package, uh, packaging service, like I think one or two months ago. 
that I had issues with them and then they that they basically stole my package. And yesterday I wrote basically, yeah, I'm gonna take a lawyer and then it said like, this is information. Is this information? And like after two months, he said like, yo, you never mentioned this. And this is a two months blackout. And then you wonder what was the person seeing? Like you see one frame, how you're a baby sucking on your mom's tit. The next frame is like you're living alone in your own flat, you know, playing something on your laptop or I don't know, fucking bitches because it's so an awesome chat, dude. And the next frame, you're a senior in a, you know, in a senior hospital thing. What is it like where old people go, stuff like that, you know, and your life was basically three frames and uh, it's kind of your own fault because you chose to. This is kind of hardcore, man. Like, I, I started meeting this guy in December. Like, he was an old friend. I sound like a total dick here. I, I know it, <laughs> but I don't care. Um, and uh, he was kind of also a dick. But uh, if I meet with him, one to one, one in one person, you know, he's kind of cool. But if another person gets added to the equation, like I got two other bodies who are in conflict with this body, you know, and uh, like things become uh, very toxic and aggressive and conflict driven. So uh, I wonder this issue, you know, I've been meeting this guy since like three and a half, let's say four months now. So in these four months, this two month old case, directly straight beside you. And I mentioned this like multiple times. Then I wonder like, did this guy just like experience mm, four months, you know, yeah, two months in like uh, one sentence? And the thing is like, I mentioned the, the details here and there, you know, like everyone tends to like, I'd say a lot of people should avoid this, but everyone does this like, yeah, my car wasn't starting for like one second. It should be a half second faster, stuff like that. You know, everybody is like this, like yeah, nagging, you know, to a certain degree, this is like common, very common, especially when you get older, like, ah, oh, the food ain't good either. You know, the soup could be better, stuff like that. So um, I, I mentioned this like multiple instances, not to be, Ego driven, maybe, maybe I was ego driven. Everyone is to a certain point, but uh, just mention it to kind of mention the progress, you know, because this is also weird. Uh, when I talk with this guy, he, it's like uh, it's like an animal. Like it sounds very bad, yo, but you just have to like accept certain realities with certain people. I know it can be difficult as well, but uh, when I talk with him, it's like. Uh, it's like a bot putting out messages. I feel hungry. I should go to sleep. Uh, I will be drinking now water. And when, you know, when I receive that kind of output as input, you know, and then I say like, uh, uh, I will type something on my keyboard and I will jerk off now to anime titties. And I will kind of give, I kind of copy, you know, the certain, uh, inputs, outputs that I receive, yeah, and uh, how could you like pass two months, two months of talking, like mentionings here and there and everywhere, and, whew, and after two months, like, yo, yo, what happened, man? <laughs> I didn't know that this existed. You have to always assume everything from everyone. Like, when you go out the street, you have to look at a per. This sounds very bad, yo, very pessimistic. But you have to think about, like, does this person know how a faucet works? Does this person know how stairs work? And I'm not over, I'm not exaggerating here. I've seen cases or instances like, uh, does this person know that if you don't take a shower, you smell like literal hot garbage for weeks and weeks? Don't you smell this, man? Stuff like that, you know? Uh, does the person flush his or her toilet? You you assume the person would be this kind of knowledge if to say let's call it knowledge, you know, <laughs> because this is. <laughs> uh, but then uh, I'd say there are people out there, uh, 
that don't know what is what what breathing is and they might stop breathing because they think they don't need it or they, nobody ever teach them that they need oxygen to survive that's all i'm saying this is uh, what is happening i literally believe in this some people don't know that they should breathe in order to continue existing for a certain amount of time yeah